EVs, hydrogen cars, they're all pretty cool stuff. And I'm out here in sunny LA checking out the brand new Nexo and Kona Electric from Hyundai. Now I want to thank them for actually flying me over here so I can check out these awesome vehicles. We're going to drive them, we're going to experience them, and I'm telling you guys, it's going to be dope. So this is the Hyundai Nexo. Now this is a hydrogen fuel cell car. Um, in terms of power stack, you're looking at 95 kilowatts for those who care. Um, your torque is about 291 pounds. And in terms of just motor output, you're looking at 161 horsepower. Really nice looking vehicle as you just see it right here. It's got a really nice clean style. And trust me, once you see the interior, you're gonna be wowed with what this car has to offer. Plus the technology in here is mind blowing. But let's get in and drive the Nexo. So I'm finally in the Hyundai Nexo and it's a really interesting experience driving a fuel cell car. Uh, because you're driving the car that runs off hydrogen um, but what that gives you is a bunch of things the first thing is the fact that you contribute to the ecology or you can actually say you help improve the environment by purifying the air which is something the car does uh, which is nice plus you know the byproduct is water so you're you know, saving the planet while you're driving, which is nice. Now, besides that, and I know some of you are like, okay, that's Mr. Eco-Friendly, we get all that, but what are the benefits of actually driving this car? This car drives really well. That's the first thing. It is a comfortable car to drive. As you guys can see, the interior is smooth, it is nice. Uh, they spend a lot of time making sure that, look, if you're gonna spend the money on a vehicle like this, then you gotta feel comfortable in it, which is, you know, which is pretty good. Navigation system, I gotta say though, the navigation is on point. About a 12 inch display, uh, really fast and fluid. Uh, it doesn't feel like a clunky car navigation. So while you're moving around, it's really easy to go from option to option, uh, whether you're looking at your fuel cell or eco drive ratings, or you're trying to go into the navigation or even uh, access your music. Those things are pretty cool. Now you've got a dashboard, set a dashboard as well, where you can actually toggle through a bunch of things, like of course, you know, your compass, uh, your odometer, as well as also something like, um, you know, your, your range. And you clearly see what range the car has. Now this is, this is the blue package, uh, I believe, right, Danny? That's what yep. we have, yeah. Danny's in the car, so I'm record this, by the way. Um, and uh, we've got about uh, 380 miles on this in terms of range. And since this is a fuel cell car, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. We got to check out the car uh, charging or refueling, if you will, and it takes five minutes to charge. That's it. That is what they said. It's five minutes to refuel the car and get yourself going. So you think about it uh, when you're driving around and you've got this kind of range in the car and you actually want to top up. It's not something you're going to park like an EV, which are great, by the way. Um, and I'm going to talk about the other EV they actually, the EV they have, which is the, the Kona. But you can just plug it in and you're good, good to go. Now, a couple of cool features in the car that I really liked were uh, the parking assist as well as also the pull-out function. And, you know, um, it was just really cool watching it in action. Now, the other vehicles that probably have this, but the way it's implemented in this car is really nice because it also helps you find the parking locations. But you know what, I'll shut up. Let the guy who actually does it better show you what it really is. And it's constantly detecting spots right now. So we'll probably detect this spot. And then we're gonna aim for this next one. Okay. And it'll beep again for the next spot. I'll press the button. Um, it's either you press park or press the remote, the smart parking, but we'll do out of car. So I'll put it in park. Get out of the car. And I need to be two meters within the vehicle. I will say I definitely enjoyed driving around LA with the Hyundai Nexo. 
I think the idea of owning a hydrogen or fuel cell car is quite appealing to me. The fact that you can help add something positive to the, to the environment, plus the range and the comfort and styling that they put into the car. Plus that dashboard for me as a techie is truly fantastic. Let us go ahead and check out uh, the other vehicle, which is the Kona and EV from Hyundai. Now, the Kona was a fun car to drive. You know, while the Nexo uh, was more luxurious, this had a very fun appeal to it. Design-wise, it feels like a, a crossover vehicle to me. Um, and I will say though, it packs quite a punch. Interior is really nice. Uh, it's a little bit snug, at least for my size, uh, but it's got a lot of things in there. You've got, of course, a navigation system, um, which is uh, very robust, shows you things like your charge time, your range, your electric usage, what things are using the electricity in your vehicle, those kind of things, you know, your AC charger, so you can get down to the nitty gritty in there. And speaking of electric, this can do a range of 258 miles on this vehicle. Uh, now, uh, it's got also a couple of cool other things in there. The way the car is designed, you've got nice little cubbies, you've got uh, buttons all around that can do a bunch of few things. Now, the interior is really nice, it's flush. Um, it's uh, really small at the back in my impressions. It was harder for me to sit back there. Again, I am tall. Now, you do have wireless charging built into the car so you can charge your smartphone, which is nice. Um, and you've got a couple of these things that actually do some really nice good things for you. So, as I mentioned, um, this car is an EV. Um, if you want to go ahead and think about charge times, a level three charge, quick charge, 100 kilowatts will be about 54 minutes. Uh, for this vehicle. The other things like the pop-up display here, which allows you to see, you know, look straight ahead and look at the dashboard and you can see your speed, speed limit, things like that, and drive really comfortable. And like I said, this car was a fun drive. The car handled the road really well. It was very gripping to the road. So it felt like I could take those corners much better. Um, I could, you know, I could get into tighter, tighter spaces and angles. Even though the car felt snug internally, the car really, um, held onto the road like it was one with the road. So I really appreciated that with the uh, the Kona in terms of driving this vehicle. Like I said, it's an electric vehicle. So of course it ran quiet, um, but it also had a lot of kick to it. Um, in terms of just calculating its power output, 150 kilowatts, which is about 201 horsepower. So you got some kick to this vehicle um, as a whole. And I think a lot of people like it. You know, it's a four door body type. It's got a, a six uh, single speed gear. Uh, reduction gear so if you think about what the gear ratio would be for this car itself um, and um, it uses of course a lithium ion by battery there now in terms of um, what I think um, Hyundai is trying to do here they're showcasing the different aspects of what they're doing with their uh, alternative vehicles, the EVs, their fuel cell cars, with the Nexo and the Kona. And I think a lot of people will find this uh, quite appealing as vehicles because, um, you know, uh, they're offering so two unique things that you know can bring about a very different change in the way we actually use vehicles and it doesn't feel like you're going to something foreign it feels comfortable it drives well it packs in some really nice tech in there especially with the, with the nexo and also the corner and i think uh, these are vehicles that i everyone should just look out for and definitely check out so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or any comments about both the Kona or the nexo let me know Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.